All right, so when it comes to getting students' attention and holding their attention, presentation really does matter. Uh, the way things look, the way things you know pop out and grab their attention. So I think it's really nice to be able to design a page that's more than just text heavy. So I'm gonna get a little bit into our design tools that can take the course and make it look really professional and really fancy in just a few minutes. All right, so this is called City Labs and it's our design tool. And if you click that rocket ship that hovers at the corner, I'll show that again, that rocket ship here, it opens up some design elements. Um, we can create uh, content, we can uh, add content blocks. So when you click create and edit content, this drop down appears and two things that I really like to do is I really like to choose a theme and I really like to add a banner, but there's a lot more that can happen. So I'm first going to choose a theme and you can go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. If you had a bit more content in here, you'd be able to see a little bit more. All right. So here's what that one looks like. They're very similar. Notice some things changed. There was an apple before. That's why it's called apple. Uh, there's now a basic bar. Um, and so you want to go through these and see which one you like. And you can always change it. And I think I've always been a fan of the circle. This is my, this is my jam right here. I love this one. Um, because I can then number, maybe this is part one of the unit. Um, and so I can go through and make it look more organized by numbering there. And I like the circle. It looks a little bit more for older children rather than the apple. All right. Once I have that, I like to customize my banner. And so you can make a text banner, but I like my image. And you can use something that's already there. So we have some rocks and sky and we have this, but it's for Dwight Global. So I wouldn't choose that. And then you can put in any image that you've created and put into the course already. And so I created an image the size of a banner, so it just has to be rectangular. Um, and I added it previously using the insert picture button. Um, and so I'm going to insert that right now. And now, as you can see, it's locked into that space. So now it doesn't matter what size the device is or what size the window is that the student is on, that banner will take the correct size of the space that they're looking at. All right, so that alone adds a whole lot to the page. And now I'm going to also add a content block. So for example, here's a content block. Notice that we have things like objectives, readings, lectures. So let's say you're going to insert videos into your, into your lesson. Maybe you can put a lecture here. And then um, I hate the word lecture, so maybe I want to call it videos. And that's not how you spell video. All right, so for example, I'm going to use this exact same page that I'm creating now. And this is going to be this page when I when I present this to you. Um, and so the video I'm making, I'm going to put here. And then underneath, maybe I want to put reading or maybe I want to create something entirely different. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm not going to insert the video yet because obviously I'm currently making it. So I'll just write a note to myself to come back later. All right. And so then I can uh, I don't know, put in readings or objectives. Let's go with objectives. And then I'm gonna make a list of objectives or if I clicked on readings, I could write under that. Um, or what can then happen, let's say we have all our content blocks in here. Maybe you choose to have one, maybe you choose to have none. But let's say you have some content blocks, you can now reorder them. Uh, let's see where that is. Yes, here we go. So it doesn't matter how hard you try to reorder things over here, it will not reorder and it will be super frustrating. But if I take this and I put the objectives above the video, notice it switches over here. And so this is a great way of keeping your page organized. Okay, I don't want objectives, so notice this red X, I can just get rid of it. I am just gonna 
write something to hold a space for now i'll just say about i don't know and then you see that come up here all right and then i can put some content here change this title later and i'm going to go ahead and save this i'm going to close that and save this so you can see what this looks like and so now all of a sudden we have this thing that looks pretty awesome that would grab students attention um, you have the headers you have uh, the I don't know the pictures it looks really good so much better considering the fact that I didn't do hardly anything all right so now you can go ahead if you wanted to have this theme throughout you can do this over and over or as you create other pages you can copy this content over and so I just learned something as I was playing around and so let's say I want to just copy this content over. I used to copy the HTML code. No more. I now know better. Okay. So to copy this content over, what I'm going to do, first let's create a new page. And I'll just rename it something for now. Next page. And I go to edit as usual. I click my rocket ship like we just did. And then, let's see if I remember this, create edit content, copy existing content, open the page that I just created. I think that was it. Nope, that's not it. Uh, let's see. There we go. And it just comes right in. So now I can say, I can change the video that's here. Okay, that's def definitely not how anything is spelled. I can change the content. And then I can save it and it saves as a different and a new page. So this is a way to keep your course consistent so students know what to expect. Let's say you know you have a video at the very start of a, a lesson or maybe you put a video and then a worksheet. Um, and so you can set up expectations that way as students get used to what they are seeing from page to page. All right.